Bill, you've obviously got a, a great rapport with your audience. Oh, I like to relate to people like another person. I don't believe in that whole uh, rock star syndrome where you ignore the audience. It's supposed to be the artist. You just sit up here and play. I mean. Billy Joel is an American pianist, singer-songwriter, composer, business person, musician, voice actor, orchestrator, and lyricist. He sold more than 150 million records globally. Joel released 12 studio albums between 1971 and 1993. Then in 2001, he released another studio album. He's become one of the best-selling artists during his career, and he's the sixth best-selling recording artist. Moreover, Joel is ranked the third best-selling solo artist in the entire United States. Joel's compilation album, Greatest Hits Volume 1 and 2, was released in 1985. They're one of the best-selling albums in the United States. Billy's won several awards, including six Grammys, two New York Emmy Awards, and one Kennedy Center Honors. He's been nominated for an Oscar Award 23 times and is a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Although the singer retired from actively recording new albums in 1993, he released Fantasies and Delusions in 2001. It's a way for me to feel comfortable being up here because once in a while I go, what am I doing up here? So uh, you talk to people. I always have a good time. I, I've been a musician since I was four. I've been a professional musician since I was uh, 14. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is William Martin Joel, but is also known as Billy Joel and Piano Man. He was born May 9, 1949 in the Bronx, New York, making him 71 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.66 meters or 5 feet 5 inches tall. Aside from being one of the greatest singers in the world, Joel also loves to collect various motorbikes. Moreover, Joel is a pretty good boxer, and he successfully boxed on the amateur Golden Glove circuit. The color of his eyes is green, and he weighs 66 kilograms, or 144 pounds. He's battled depression for several years and attempted to kill himself by drinking furniture polish. The singer was checked into Meadowbrook Hospital, where Joel received treatment for depression. Then in 2005, he also spent 30 days at the Betty Ford Center, where he received treatment for alcohol abuse. Lastly, the star sign of this singer is Taurus. Joel married Elizabeth Weber Small in 1973, and when their relationship started, Elizabeth was still married to John Small. The couple divorced in 1982, then Joel married Christy Brinkley, an American model, in 1985. The couple had a daughter named Alexa Ray Joel, who was born in 1985, and they divorced in 1994. In 2004, Joel married chef Katie Lee. This marriage also didn't work out. Katie Lee was 23 years old when she married Joel, while Joel was 55 years old at that time. The couple separated in 2009, then Joel married Alexis Roderick in 2015. They started dating in 2009 and have two daughters together, including Della Rose Joel and Remy Ann Joel. I'm lucky. I mean, I always know what I wanted to do. And I made a living at it, and uh, I always have a good time. I also, I think people might have an opinion of me from Piano Man that I'm this sensitive, suffering, you know, songwriter type, and I'm not. I'm just, you know, this is my gig. This is what I do for a living. In 1949, Billy Joel was born in the Bronx, New York, to Howard Joel, a pianist and engineer, and Rosalind Joel, a homemaker. He also has a younger sister, Judy, and his family moved to Long Island when Billy was only one year old. Joel's father was born in Germany to a Jewish family and died in 2011. On the other hand, Rosalind was born in New York to a Jewish family, and her parents emigrated from England. Howard and Rosalind met at City College of New York, after the couple divorced in 1957, Billy's father returned to Europe and later remarried. This singer began taking piano lessons when he was only four years old and eventually developed a love for classical music. Billy joined the band The Echoes when he turned 14 and attended Hicksville High School, but didn't take summer classes to finish school and ultimately didn't graduate. Billy Joel left high school to pursue his musical career. In 1967, he had left the Echoes to join the Hassles Group, which was then signed to United Artists Records. This group released several albums as well as singles, 
And then in 1969, Billy and the drummer of this band, John Small, left the group. They formed their duo called Attila and released their album in 1970. However, their partnership couldn't last since Billy had an affair with Elizabeth, who was John Small's wife. In 1971, Joel went solo when signed with Family Productions. His first solo album, Cold Spring Harbor, was released in 1971. Then in 1972, Columbia Records signed Joel, and he released his famous album, Piano Man, in 1973. With Columbia, he released the album The Stranger in 1977, which was a successful album. During the 20 years of his commercially successful solo career, this singer has produced 33 top 40 hits in the United States. The most interesting part is that Joel himself wrote every single one of them. Obviously, your music has a, a great versatility to it, so you, you wouldn't like to be typecast as any particular type of writer. No, I don't like to fall into a formula. I like all kinds of music. Anything that's good. I like to be eclectic. Billy Joel has earned millions of dollars through his singing, music sales, brand endorsements, tours, and several other business endeavors, although he earned only $3,000 from his album The Stranger, which was released in 1977. The singer made $7.3 million from his album Glass Houses, released in 1980. Moreover, Billy made $46 million from his face-to-face -face tours. And from June 2017 to June 2018, the singer made $45 million. Moreover, the singer earned around $50 million between June 2017 and June 2019. Billy's one of the highest grossing singers in the world, and he made $4.6 million for his New Year's Eve show in 2019. He also earns through his residencies, and from his Madison Square Garden residencies, the singer made $150 million between 2014 and 2019. Back in the year 1996, the singer co-founded the Long Island Boat Company with Peter Needham. Then in 2010, Joel launched his own shop in Oyster Bay, where custom-built motorbikes and accessories are manufactured. Billy Joel's net worth is $225 million. The famous singer owns and has owned several luxurious properties across the country. His properties in Long Island, New York, and Florida are some worth noting. Billy owns an elegant home in the Long Island town of Sag Harbor, and his mansion on 15 waterfront acres in Oyster Bay covers an area of around 14,000 square feet. The singer purchased this massive mansion for $22.5 million back in 2002. Later, he bought two side-by-side -side properties in Manalapan, Florida. These properties cover an area of approximately four acres, and Joel purchased them for $12 million in 2014. One of the lots in these two side-by-side -side properties is undeveloped. Joel's other mansion in Manalapan covers an area of nearly 9,000 square feet. Then in 2015, the singer listed these properties for $29 million. Billy offered the 9,000-square-foot mansion for $19.5 million, which was ultimately sold for $10.3 million in January of this year. On the other hand, the undeveloped lot is still unsold, which covers nearly three of Billy's four-acre property. Billy also owned a home in New York, which he bought for $5.9 million. Katie Lee, Billy's ex-wife, received this New York townhome in their divorce, which she sold for $12.9 million in 2011. Billy also purchased a Mediterranean-styled Miami Beach mansion in 2006 for $13.5 million, which covers around 8,881 square feet, a gourmet kitchen, a wine cellar, and 165 feet of waterfront. Billy Joel owns the following cars and bikes. A 1962 Jaguar Mark II, A 1967 Citroën 2CV. A 1978 Harley-Davidson XLCR. A 1973 Audi Fox. A Moto Gizzi V7. A 1973 VW Beetle. A 1962 Triumph Tiger. So I, I like the Beatles. 
Um, I don't want them to get back together. They did plenty enough, you know, fine. They don't have to get back together as far as I'm concerned. But they were eclectic. They did all kinds of music.